In this video, guys, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can create this dramatic light and shadow effect in your photos using Photoshop. And I'm going to start right now. Right guys, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and choose a photo. And I recommend choosing a portrait style photo, like a headshot, but to be honest, this works with all types of photos. So see what photo works for you. So I'm gonna be working on this photo here. If you wanna work on the same photo, go ahead to the link in the description. The first thing you want to do is to create the shape, and it can be any shape. It can be like a window shape, it can be circles. You basically go crazy with this. I'm gonna use two lines over the model's eye, but again, cast any type of shape onto the face that you like. So what I'm going to doing, I'm going to go to the marquee tool. I'm going to go ahead and create just an area around the right hand side or the right eye. So I'm going to go for like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and create another line. So I'm creating these two lines that you can see over the model's face. Right. So once you've made the selection shape, go down to your adjustment layers icon found in the bottom right hand corner and go ahead and select curves. Now with this, you want to brighten that area as obviously we're casting light onto the model's face. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the brightness like so. So I'm going to go for an effect that looks similar to this. But as you can see, it's a little bit too sharp. So go to your layer mask that is part of your curves adjustment layer. Go to the properties panel and drop down to where you can see it says feather. And you want to go ahead and add in a feather. I'm going to add in around a 20 pixel feather in this particular case. And as you can see, it just softens those edges, makes it a little bit more natural. Okay, obviously we don't want it affecting the shadows. We just want to be affecting the kind of highlight areas. So what we can do is double click on that curves adjustment layer and open up our layer stylizing box. Inside that, you want to go to your blend if options and go to where you can see it says underlying layer. Inside that, you've got two kind of toggles. Go to the one on the black side, to the left hand side, and bring it over towards the right. This will remove that effect from the shadow areas. And to make it a bit more graduated, a bit more natural, hold Alt or Option on your keyboard and go ahead and split that icon in two. And as you can see, we're creating a bit more of a graduated effect. And then all you need to do is move them around until you are happy with the result. So I'm going to go for something like so. Now this effect worked well when you're creating a high contrast effect. So what we could do is add in another adjustment layer. So I'm gonna go down to my adjustment layers again, guys, and this time we're gonna go ahead and select another curves, making sure this is below our original curves adjustment layer, and we're gonna darken the overall photo. So I'm gonna to go to my curves adjustment layer, I'm gonna drop that down. And to create a high contrast effect, go to the one at the top, and just make it slightly brighter. And as you can see, we've got this light appearing, which is really nice. But again, try with any shape of your choice. It works with all sorts. And you can create this kind of cool, dramatic light and shadow effect in your photo. Highly recommend adding it to your next portrait photo. Here is the before, and here is the after. And if this particular effect worked for you, write it down in the comments below.